Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Whoa! 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 It's the weekend, which means it's time for Cut the Tape. Yes, I am Rick Alvarez. The last couple days, there was a storm. There was no power at my house. So Cut the Tape is late this week. But power's back. I am showered. Now let's cut the tape. Today we're going to do something we haven't done on the show before. Constructabots. Constructabots. It's better if I show you the front of the packaging because that's a little more interesting. Constructabots is something I did not have a hand in. So, truth be told, this is the first time ever I have ever assembled a Constructabot. I have never put one together. I've been waiting till I was in my forever home, which I'm in, till my collection was at a place where I can open them and display them. And so here we are. Constructabots. I'm gonna start with Blitzwing. Blitzing was one of my favorite characters, especially the animated version with the three faces. And then that made it over to the Generations, which I absolutely loved. So, Constructabots. Constructabots was Hasbro's answer to Lego's... Vinyl Tech? It wasn't Vinyl Tech. Vinyl Tech is... Vinyl Tech is... Uh, Alternators in Japan. Bionicle! That's what I want to say. I want to say Constructabots are Hasbro's take on Bionicle. Bionicle is a construction action figure format. Bionicle is a Lego product, was a Lego product. I don't think they make Bionicle anymore. It was a brand. I think it had a couple animated shows, uh, CGI. But this is Hasbro's take. And so with these, I don't believe you transform them in the typical way. I think they're like Legos where you assemble a robot, then assemble a form, and then assemble another form by taking it apart, rearranging the pieces. I could be wrong, but that is the understanding I have of constructor bots. So what we want to do is very gently rip the package And uh, so this is pretty cool. It comes in a resealable, reusable plastic container, which actually has the Decepticon symbol embossed on it. That is awesome. This can be used for anything. You got your uh, generation select uh, blast effects. Throw them in here. This. And this is cool because it kind of looks like an Energon cube, right? Hold it up to the light, right? It looks cool. Maybe you put a, a light inside of it. So that off the bat is a win. We got three bags. Instructions. Oh, don't tell me there's a sticker sheet. And a chance to win 250,000 points for Constructabots. Uh, I bet you this isn't good anymore, but, you know. So, hey, we've got our tray. That, that to me, that, that is great because I can just seal this up, put extra parts of this in here or put whatever I want to put in here. Contraband, whatever. My Antifa membership card. So let's see. Now, I think looking at this little piece, this is the piece that's shown through the packaging. This is the little window section. I think you have uh, some random parts. You have a random wheel, a, a random connector, but you have the Decepticon symbol and you have 
the face. And I wonder if these are five millimeter. They kind of look like they're five millimeter. That would be amazing. If they're five millimeter, and I think they are, you can use these weapons and pieces with any generation's figure. Oh boy. Um, yeah. Wow. That is something. So I keep a set sealed and I keep a set to open. I'm finally getting around to opening this set. Unlike Lego, and Mega Bloks does this too. Uh, there's no there's no numbers on the on the bag. So with Legos, is you get a bag, it's number one. The instructions tell you open bag one, assemble. I got I gotta find out. I, I gotta know. All right, here we go. We got a sweep. Oh, it fits. It fits, it ships. Yes. Oh, I, how are customizers not all over this stuff? It fits the five millimeter ports. That is a huge win. That is a huge win. Wow. See, now I'm even a little more excited about opening this. So, uh, I like to consider myself a pretty experienced builder when it comes to construction toys. Legos, Mega Bloks, uh, what's the other one? Sherlock, which surely should lock, but it does not. I think that's actually on the box. So, I, I kind of tend to think I know what I'm doing. Usually... And I've only seen this with one of the larger Lego sets. I think it was um, Tower Bridge. Each bag has a number on it. Tells you, hey, start here. It makes it go by a lot smoother. It also makes the build a little faster. You can't savor all the little nuances of it. So when I get a build that's uh, a lot like this, with no uh, designation on the bags, I like to separate the parts. Now, if there was a ton of bags here, what I would do is I would separate them by color and by function. So all the flats would go here, all the bricks would go here, all the round parts here, and the left bones connected to the... Bone. All right, automatically, it's a book. It's an instruction book. It's not a fold-out. That's a bonus. Unfortunately, there is no... And this is going back... This is 2013. And there's no bio... Even back, I mean... Mm, mm. All right, let's just get into it. You, you guys know how I feel about not having bios. I just, you know, if you're going to buy something, you should know a little something about the item you are buying. And we're stuck. Because I don't see these parts. Well, I'm going to go with these, even though they're different colors. I'm hoping that's going to be okay. All right, so it looks like we're making some, some legs here. Some blitz legs. Leg or leg wings? Let's call them blitz wing legs. really am surprised that I have not heard of a lot of customizers using Constructabots in their builds. I'm sure there are out there. I'm not saying they're not. But I have not specifically noticed any parts. 
But then again, you could say I really didn't know what I was looking for until now. And you know what? With the advent of 3D printers, it's um, it's difficult to, to really judge and say, oh, that's a piece off this, that's a piece off this, when it could be a very similar piece, but it's something that someone just created in CAD real quick, based off an existing part or their own design. Hey, for anyone interested, there is a great show on Netflix called Cobra Kai. Holy crap, that is a good show. If you love the Karate Kid, and let's be honest, we all wish we were Daniel LaRusso at some point. Then, you're going to love Cobra Kai. Highly recommend it. Um, they are not paying me to say that, but I said it because I want to say it. Because I'm an adult. Alright, so this build's going pretty quick. Yep. It's going pretty quick. Oh, look at that. So I like the fact that this secures into the top part. That is true. So I can tell you right now, I'm really happy with how sturdy this is. I have, listen, I have every type of Lego you can imagine. Every type of set. Expensive sets, cheap sets, simple sets, complex master builder sets, sets that I've come up with. But I have very little experience with Bionicle. It never captured my attention. Is it an action figure? Is it a construction thing? I don't know, but um, I'm interested in this solely because it's TF related. And I'm liking the, I'm liking the uh, way the figures, everything's fitting together. There is a lot of good uh, tension in the ball and socket joints. I like that. They're not loose. You, sometimes you get a ball and socket joint, and it's loosey-goosey, and that is no bueno. No bueno. No. No. Mis Mr. Griffin not home. No. No. Mis Mr. Griffin not home. So let's see, alpha, beta, Seda, Kappa Delta. And other news, listen, if you're a Trekkie like me, if you love Star Trek, holy crap, Captain Janeway's coming back. And I'm not talking about Picard for the Picard series. I'm talking about she's going to be in Star Trek Prodigy, like, as the main character. So I wonder if, like... Chicote will show up. Or Seven of Nine. You, you know they're going to throw Seven of Nine in there. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they throw a little Jordial Forge in there. I, I would like to see a little Jordial Forge Captain Janeway action, you know? A little crossover. I think that could work. I think those two characters would play off each other very well. If you want to email me something about Star Trek or Transformers, email me at cutthetape at tftalk.net. Or don't email me. You don't have to email me. You don't want to email me? That's fine. Do whatever you want. It's your choice as a free person. All right. This is... Mm, where the tolerance on this is really tight. This is, uh, wow. This is the hip, the head. I gotta say, the head on that looks pretty good. I've always been, 
when it comes to design, one thing that always like sticks out to me is the head size. Is the head too big for the body? Is it too small for the body? Wait, is that it? That can't be it. No, that can't be it. Now it's telling me to build tank mode. I don't want to oh, 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 well, okay. You know what? I'll just follow the instructions, I'll see where it goes. That's fine. It's fine. Is it this? It is this. Yeah, see that's always, I guess you need that to make the wheel spin though. All right. Yeah, see, it comes out the other side. That's what it is. I am curious to see how many people who collect Transformers also collect Legos, because Legos, let me tell you something, Legos are expensive. I usually don't buy a Lego set unless it's on sale. And the only time I tend to get new sets, like if it's something that I absolutely know, oh, that's gonna sell out. I gotta get it. And I've missed a ton of Lego sets that I've wanted like that. But uh, my birthday, my, uh, my wife always gets me, always gets me Legos. I like it. And I still have a bunch of Lego sets I have to open. Uh, man, a couple years ago, she got me a uh, Voltron set. I have yet to open the Voltron set. No, I did this wrong. Bear with me. I put a piece on backwards. Oh, it just feels so good to be clean. I hadn't showered in three days. <laughs> it, feels, it feels really good to be clean. Oh, oh, yeah, really bad storm. That's one of the uh, problems of living out in western Massachusetts. Lots of trees, which means in a storm, trees come down. They come down on power cables, and that, that is also no bueno. No, no es bueno. So I would say this is going pretty fast and complexity wise, I think this is pretty perfect for, uh, for little kids. I think my, my six year old might have a little bit of a hard time with this, but I think my nine year old would nail it. Absolutely blow it out of the park. She's got a lot of it. I mean, they both have experience building. But I think my nine-year-old would absolutely nail this right out of the park. I think one of the reasons why I never built one of these sets and I waited was not because, you know, they fall apart and then you got to get the instructions out to put it all back together again. Because uh, that's always a hassle. Let's see, the missile shoots. Yep. It's push, so you just push the missile to activate it. The, the problem is I was a little nervous these were gonna be like Creo and Built to Rule. Now Built to Rule is a whole disaster because Built to Rule, that's like Sherlock. They just don't stay together. Like Sherlock bricks, sure lock, they do not stay together. If they sure won't lock, Yeah, so, anyway, uh, I was worried I would lose parts uh, when these started coming out. Was I already in the move? No. I think maybe we were getting ready for the move to, the, to the, this house. Hmm. 
Hmm. What I want to know. Oh. See, that's what I want to know. I want to know if all the pieces, if all the pieces are going to go on them. So I'm looking at this. All right. So the instructions don't tell you everything that's shown on the packaging. So I have to use a little cleverness in order to figure out that I want to put all these weapons on there. Now this is a combination of looking at the box, looking at the picture on the box, See, now I got these parts, and these are some kick-ass parts. Hmm. We got some kick-ass parts here. You know what I said about the tension in the ball joints? Well, I got this one ball joint that is failing. Let's see. Is there a place to mount these wings on the back? Well, we could do it like this, but ideally we want the wings to be out like this. Unfortunately, there is no place to connect it unless I do this and attach them to the hips, which I could do. And I guess it looks okay. I mean, functionality wise, that's a, that's, that's wet garbage. But if you just put it on your shelf, all right, that'll work. That'll do. And I bet you these parts I can just put on the back, on the tank. You know what? I'm pretty happy with this. I, I am pretty happy with this. Now, what I'm looking at here, it appears that it does transform with, with a minimum of parts replacement. You have to get it down. All right, so you have to get it down basically to um, uh, 1.5. Let's call it protoform stage where all the big parts are off of it. Take all the wheels off. Yeah, and then the parts forming comes into place. Parts forming is a term we use in the brand. If you're not familiar with it, here's a little education. Parts forming means, hey, this can't possibly transform into that. So let's just make a hood that fits over this piece so that it completes the car, i.e. RC. Yeah. Okay. So some slight transformation. Tolerance wise, it's really good except for that one, one little spot. And uh, here's a trick. If you ever have a uh, ball and socket joint and you have a tolerance issue, take a little clear nail polish and put it on the ball, let the ball dry and then pop it in there. The nail polish adds a little bit of more of a uh, surface so that it fills in better into the socket. And since uh, clear nail polish is clear, uh, you don't have to worry about the color. And of course, with nail polish, it's easily removable. So don't worry if you mess up. Um, I've done it before. Sometimes I just like a little clear coat on my nails. Nothing wrong with that either. Anyway. That's cut the tape. We did construct the bots. This, this, I think, look, look what I can do with this. I'm going to, I'm going to put stuff in here now and not that I don't want, cause I don't want that in there. And look, now I got a little, little Energon cube. So that's cool. Construct the bots. Blitzwing 2013. Hey, that's Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez. Check out my books on Amazon. And 
I think at the end of the month, I'll be doing a special panel for TFCon, so check that out. Check out the entire TFYLP network. And remember, wear a mask, wash your hands, vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for, just vote. Peace. Wu-Tang. <laughs>